and the life is keeping God's glory. That's, That's right. right. That's the life. Read it again. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. Against you, black man, Hispanic man, read. That I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Therefore, choose life. So that's the choices you got. Repent and choose life or die. That's right. You could die with your damn slave master. That's what's gonna happen. What's your question, bro? Okay, my question is, we know that Yashua is a so-called black man. Yes. Is he not? Absolutely. Okay, so why, why you don't fuck with Christ, the so-called white man, right? The so-called white, who's the white man? Christ, constantly. That's whomever the homosexual is for sure, right? Okay. No. So, hey, look, okay. look at this, brother. I, I'm with you. No. You don't mess with Caesar. Caesar bullshit. Okay, so you don't fuck with Caesar bullshit, right? Do we? Let me ask you first. Look, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so let's look, look, look. We call him the image of God. So, yes, I'm going to call God. Hold on, brother. Okay, so so it's understood that so called. And please don't put that in front of you, Yeah. Let him talk. So, you're right. Let's put him on the ground where he belongs. So, that's right. So, get it. It's already understood that you don't deal with this so-called white man, right? Yeah, so why, why ever even talk about it? Why ever even recognize That's a good question. That's now, hold on, let's go. So we, it's understood that's the square of counterfeit evidence, right? Yeah, got it. So why ever recognize it? Why, why, why? Hey, sure, sure, sure. Hey, good, but that's our sign. Why do that? Now, the guy asked you now? Why, why ever even, re okay, look, I don't fuck with this chick right here, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Why would I, so why would I use my willpower? Why would I ever yeah. even stand and even say anything about it? Now, that's a good question. The brother said, if we know Jesus is white, why do we come out? Oh, now. Hold on, brother, Jesus, call we down. already know Jesus yeah, is white. I said if well, it's understood that the ascended master, Yahshua, is a so-called melanated being. Yeah. Okay. Hey, exactly. We know that Caesar was It wasn't no J. It's not that. Yes. So why even stand here and even talk about now, it? Now, are you ready for the answer? Okay. Now the brother said, why do we talk about this fake guy here? Why do we talk about this if we know he's not real? Let's get the answer. Give me Revelation 13, 15. Bring it out. Oh, Revelation chapter 13 and verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Read it again. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. One more time. And he and had they, power. And he, America, the so-called white man, had power to give this image life. But wait. Wait, so what in our people's heads, when they pray at night, do they see this no. or do they see that? No. No. So I don't this is that. why the majority, That's be quiet, you, That's the you. majority of I our know. people, when they pray, they see this in their head. So we got to burn this out of our heads. Jeremiah 1 to 10. Right. Okay, wait, 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 when you go teach, go and you no, go and don't go in there. If you don't like the white answer, I can't help. I, 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 I don't have the so, spirit of argument. Okay, I'm not arguing, but I'm telling and you, one other I'm question. telling you, I'm not done with the answer. Okay. I'm not done with the answer. Okay. Great. Jeremiah, and the one. What I'm telling you is this. We have to burn this garbage out of our hands. Guess what, brother? Then you go in your corner and go teach what you want to teach. That's right. We're going to teach what we want to teach. That's right. Okay? Y'all are the Negroes on the other side of the world that ain't doing the work. That's right. We're teaching. We're teaching that we're God's chosen people. That's what we're teaching. I know that. Then why are you not doing what God told you? Now, one more question. Why aren't you doing Wait. Why God not do it? Why not? Why you not doing God's chosen people? You ain't telling me nothing I don't know, brother. So why you standing here? You holding the white man. Yes, this is the damn devil the Bible speaks of. Yes, it is. Okay. That's right. See, I have this day set thee over the nation. What did God say? I have set this day set thee over the nation. To do what? And over the kingdom. To root out. To do what? To root out. To do what? To root out. So we're out here to root this garbage out of our, this out of our minds. Because that's why we kill each other. That's why we hate each other. That's why we sell drugs to each other. Read. To pull down. To pull this garbage down. Huh. We're here to pull it down. Now, one more question. And raise up the black Christ. That's Read. right. And to destroy. And to do what? And to destroy. And to destroy this garbage out of your heads. Right. You understand that? Man, I ain't Read. To build. To do what? To build. Then we 
got to build you up according to God's law. Right. Right. Well, guess what? You a sinful Negro. You ain't about. built up. You're not you built up. You're not built up. You say you know, but you're not built up. Right. You 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 know, you 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 know, Read. And to plant. And to do what? And to plant. And to plant. We're planting that you're the greatest people on the planet Earth. That's right. Read it again. See, I have this day set thee over the yeah, nation and people. over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy. And to destroy the garbage out of your head. You got another question? One more question. But do you understand my answer? Yes. What was the answer? Explain so I know you understand. You said that you're getting the image of the so-called white man out of the mind here for the so-called black man. How are we doing that? Fine. What you doing? Okay, so now you, now you understand. So now keep it in move. Okay, first off, we both your elders. Okay, and say it again. First off, we both your elders. You're my elder. Yes. Give me numbers. I'm not done. Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna how are you my elder? Explain that. <laughs> how do you know? How, how old am I? I think you're about thirty. I think. I think. That means you don't know. You know what I'm saying? You can't make a like that. I know. You can look at me. So my elder. So what does that mean? Oh, we're gonna do that. That means I don't. I don't. I don't yeah? Wait, wait, wait. So, so we I just, I just hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm keeping my mind. I'm not going to no, no, say stuff. So if these are the myths of sin, should I respect them? Well, I'm not saying in that sense. I oh, mean, just, well, we're out here for the Bible. Okay, so that's the only reason we're out here. That's you right on that, Bible. You, that's that's your, so he's, that's is he my elder? Right. Is he my elder? No, I was wrong. Thank you. Hey, brother, so keep it in the mood. Brother, that's your interpretation. The that you see on the word. That's your interpretation. Hold for a second. The, the image of the so-called black man, Joshua, yes. the black Madonna, yes. so the head of the Catholic Church, which is in Rome, why is the Pope kneeling to the so-called black Because they know. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Now, the head of the Christian Church yes. is already paying homage to the image of the so-called black man. Yes. They're already, so we know that this construct In the Vatican. Is an ignorance. It's what? You, know I mean? it's a, you have a whole construct in there. A construct? A construct. <laughs> a realm. Yeah, you know yes. I mean? this, so you got different It's all pockets. around us. You're yeah. seeing it. You got, you're going to have different pockets of ignorance. Okay. So at the end of the day, it's like. You got numbers? It's not all the way it's to end. You feel what I'm saying? With the okay. Christian church, the Christian church right hey, now is hey, divided. You got so what, you have a question? Well, yeah, no, no, no. Can I say something? I'm saying that. What's your question? No, no, I'm talking to you. What is your question? Question. Elder, brother. What is your question? Ask you have an a question? Brother, you have a question? Ask an elder, yeah. brother. Must respect. So, Numbers. you have your fringes on? You have fringes you're on? Trying to, you're, trying to, all you're trying to make everything oh, so right. Why should I listen to anything that you're saying if you're in the midst of sin? I said I was in the midst of chaos. Read. You feel me? I mean, I'm Speak not proud of this. Unto the children of Israel. Read. And bid them no, that they them. make them fringes. So, because we fall short of the glory, that's a Christian spirit, brother. I'm not Let me ask you a question. Since we all fall short, should we keep, should we remain in sin? No, every day is a learning process. Is that oh, yes or no? Oh, oh, oh okay. I mean, read on. Here. Okay, okay. I'm on. In the borders of read it. their garment, from the top. speak unto the children of Israel. Before the children of Israel. With tribe. With gods on the earth. With tribe. And bid them that they make bridges in the borders of their garment. With tribe. Make bridges in the borders of so, their brother, garment. Brother, brother, is that, you agree, that's a commandment, correct? Yes. So what should you be doing next time you see? I should be in different garments. What, what tribe we right, in, right? That's read what tribe we in. That generation, right? read. that what they tribe shall put in. upon the bridge of the borders a, a ribbon of blue. So, a ribbon what of blue. Let me read with your face. Wait, 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 w
What's your question, brother? It's a spirit day. Um, I went to the Baptist church last Sunday, right? You went to the Baptist church last Sunday. I pulled up Jesus. Yeah. Jesus was the first slave ship named Jesus. Yes. No, we ain't I showed him that, 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 that at the We ain't talking about that, though. Hold up, man. Hold up. He's not. See, now, I'm supposed to respect this, right? He's out of order. He's out of order. Right? Out of order. Right? 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 Brother, finish. I, I went to the uh, show the pastor. They say, I can't believe that. I'm pulling yeah. show in. Yeah. And I told them, I said, now, all y'all hollering, Jesus, Jesus, who is your Savior? Okay. And he said, now, let me ask you a question. Okay. Because the, the ship was called Jesus, does that mean that was Jesus? No. no so what's the no. point? What, what is the point of you telling me? That's not Jesus. Can I okay. talk? Okay. Okay. Can I talk? Sure. The brother's talking. Can I talk? The, well, the point was this. You no, know, he had me fooled. He said, well, Jesus. He didn't walk on water and he said, don't worry did, about that man. right there. That's your savior. He did, and I told him, yeah, but this is what they're talking about. When they say this is your savior, they're talking about this Jesus. Let me tell you one thing. They're talking I'm about the so-called white man. Something. You understand? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you one thing. Christ was not Jesus no white was a boy. Black man. He was a black man. He was a white man. Revelation 114. Let's get out! I could be lying to you, right? Revelation! What I'm saying is, in the church, they lie. They say all this, this stuff, but they don't prove nothing out of the Bible. You have to be able to prove it in the Bible. I, I want you to speak on this picture I'm about to show you, Elder. His hair! I'm not an elder, by the way. And his hair! Will white like wool! So Christ said what? The Bible says what? His hair! And his hair! Will white like wool! So, Christ had white, woolly hair. White is the color, wool is the texture. Okay? okay? Not this white boy you got in place. Just wait, brother. Damn. You out of order. Stay in order. That's why we can't go. We can't get nothing done. Brothers is out of order. They don't respect nothing. Damn. Read it again. His hair and his hair were white like wool. So Christ had white woolly hair. Not stringy blonde hair that you got in slavery. That image was burned into your mind in slavery. Right. Okay? It was burned in your minds in slavery. Right. Three. As white as snow. Fully gray. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Flame of fire. What, is, what do you think that means, sis? What do you think that means? The flame of the rain of the put about now. From the what? Genesis 49. 12. You know. Let, let's see what the Bible says. Genesis. We got to go back to what God says. 49. Now, let's find out why his eyes were red. Verse 12. Read. His eyes shall be red with wine. With what? With wine. So Christ drank wine. What happens when we drink wine? Now the whites of your eyes turn red, right? Now go back. So now we got the understanding of that, right? Now let's go back. And his feet like unto fine brass. Brothers, what's, what color is brass? What color is brass? Like a penny. What like color is that? Like yellow, like, like, like goldish. Like a goldish, brownish, kind of. It's a derivative of brown. That's right. That's what that's what uh, uh, brass is. But let's see about this brass. So wait, his feet were like brass. So if I'm looking at your feet, you got sandals, I'm looking at your feet. They like brass. What do I think your face look like? Is it, is it, is it like this? Is his face going to be like this? Is the skin tone of his face going to be like this? Hell no. Bro. Read that part again. And his feet like a two fine brass, as if they burnt in a furnace. Like what? As how, if they. How, how black was Jesus to Christ? As if they burnt in a furnace. So Christ is a very dark black man. That's, That's right. right. Not no damn white boy, man. That's right. Read on. One second. And his voice. And his voice. As the sound of many waters. So that's a rough voice. Remember, Christ spoke to 5,000 at one time. That's right. This guy, does he look like he got a rough voice? Yeah. Read out. When you look, when you watch the King of Kings movie on, on around Easter time, and he says, so God so loved the world. Read out. Come Bring on, out. man. That's just garbage, man. Bro, right. This is the spirit of Christianity. Bro, that's right. Okay? Primarily forced on us by our mothers, our grandmothers, and so forth. Bro. In church. We were forced to go to church, and they burned this garbage in our mind. That's, that's right. right. That is Bro. fact. Yeah, Read one. No, what's your question? Uh, well, I mean, now this is the head of the Catholic Church, so why is he kissing the black Jesus? Because the Vatican knows that Christ has always been a black man. That's right. right. Matthew 24 and 24. So, so look, look, at this, look at this right here, y'all. 
This is a picture of a black Christ in 912 AD. The Moors were prior, here. yes, the prior to the Renaissance. What you have here is the Renaissance version of Jesus the Christ yeah, when they came back, back and rebirth, is, which is what the Renaissance means, okay? And then they painted Christ white all over the earth. Or iconoclasm, right. They destroyed all the black images, well not all of them, most of them, and Leonardo da Vinci and all those devils, they painted Christ white. That was burned in our people's minds. So that's why we have the picture out here, to show the difference, okay? You understand that? Okay, read Matthew 24 and 24. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ. What did the Bible say? For there shall arise false Christ. You understand that system? This is a false Christ. The Bible says Christ is a black man as right. to the Bible. That's oh, right. Christ is your brother. You so-called African-American? So-called? What's your nationality? Oh, you sure. know you're Hebrew. You know you're an Israelite. Really? Okay. Do not, so what should you, as an Israelite, why are we destroyed today? Okay. Okay, all praise to the Most High, says Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Let's see what the Bible says. Because we've been destroyed for sin. We've had our nationality changed. We, we, we've had yokes of iron on our necks. We've been lynched all for breaking God's laws. Those came upon us for breaking the law. You understand? So now we got to return and repent and start keeping the laws as an Israelite. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord God require thee? So let's find out, sister, what's required of you as an Israelite. What to fear the Lord thy God. You should fear the judgments that the Lord could put on you for breaking his laws. Read. To walk in all his ways. Walk in God's ways. To love him. How do you love God? By keeping his laws. And to serve the Lord thy God. Serve God. Keep the commandments. What should the Israelite be doing? Keep the commandments. Should they just know that they're in Israelite? Keep the commandments. You understand that, sister? Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Bring it up. I'm sure you've heard this before. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So let's start with the man. What does a man wear that belongs to a woman? A dress. A dress. What, uh, anything else? Oh, oh, oh. Say it again. What does a woman wear that a man should not be wearing? Dress. Bras, panties, panties skirts, you agree? <laughs> you don't agree? What's your name? Okay, so in other words, if you if you don't agree and you don't disagree, you have no position. So when you see a man walking down the street in a dress, that's okay with you? To each his own. To each his own. That's why we're destroyed today. But it's I understand. Calm down. I understand. But guess what? You gotta burn that garbage out of your head. Because that's why we hate each other. Like I said, sell drugs. And we don't know anything about nothing. We've been given stupid different nationalities, stupid different religions, and stupid different philosophies of man. Okay? So we gotta burn that garbage out of our heads and come back as a people. Right. To hell with to each his own. Right. That's, that's what got us in the situation to begin with. Read on. That's not my opinion. That's what For got all us. That all. No, so up from the top. The, the woman. Now, let's talk about the woman. So a man should be wearing bras, panties, skirts, and dresses. Let's see about the woman. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Stop. Brother, what does a woman wear that pertains to men? G-strings, thongs, booty boosters, panties. And, and that's what women, that pertains to women. That may make any wise or knowledgeable Bruh, Sister, man sister, aroused. what do women wear that pertain Honestly. to men? Simple, right? So now, finish it out. Neither shall a man put on a woman's Garment. So that's confusion. For, Read. For all that do so. So sister, for all that do so. Are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So you hear that sister? So now, guess what? You being an Israelite, you can change that now. You can repent and stop doing it. Right. right. You understand that? It takes time. Now, give me give me Jeremiah 44. Read four. You know, up. Jeremiah chapter 44 and verse 4. So we just read, sis, that that's an abomination, right? 
Okay, now let's see about this. Let's see how God feels about an abomination. A woman in pants, the Bible says, is an abomination. That's now right. Now let's see. Testament, how be it? In the New Testament? Please. Okay. How so, be it? Wait, wait. Do you believe in the, old, in, in the Bible? Yes, I do. So, what's the problem? We just read the Bible. No, what I'm saying is, when Jesus came, yeah. right, he came that we can have life and we can have it more abundantly. Yeah. He came to bring the new law. What's the new law? law what's the, the new, new law? Testament. What is the new That's law? What does that mean? The old law of the Old Testament tells what I history. What does that mean? The new law, that Jesus is the new law. What does that mean? Is there anything that you can show me in the New Testament that says brother, I can have Brother, answer? brother, can you ask her for me what does that mean, the new law? I just asked you a question. Well, it's like, do you no, have no, my ask question? Because I can't get an answer out of it. You didn't answer my question. I asked you she where got, in the New Testament does it say that I can't wear a pants? Okay, let's get it. Matthew's 5. Bring it out. Are you ready for the answer, sis? Let's see what Christ said. You believe in Christ? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh. So, if you believe in Christ, you would do what Christ says, correct? Okay. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. 18. 18. 18. But verily I say unto you. Sister, are you listening? Sister, are you listening? I want to make sure you're listening. Okay, let's listen to what Christ says. Verily I say unto you, truly I say unto you, sister. Till heaven and earth pass. We're all on heaven and earth, correct? You see the heavens? We're standing on earth. One jot. One jot, sister. Or one tittle. One tittle. That means the smallest letter. Shall in no wise pass from the law. Woo! Till all be fulfilled. That's right. 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 That's He's returned? Not yet. No, she said, she said yes. No, I thought you meant when he came. No, yeah. has Christ returned yet? Not so yet. has all been, been fulfilled? Have, have all been fulfilled like the Bible just said? Has all what been fulfilled? Has Christ returned? So all has not been fulfilled. That's right. Read it again. For verily, I'm, I'm getting it. Read. For verily, I say unto you. Christ says unto you, sister. Till heaven and earth pass. Are we still on heaven and earth? Right. One jot. One jot. Or oh, one tittle. One tittle, the smallest letter of the law, sister. Shall in no wise pass from the law. For what? Right. Shall in no wise pass from the law. You understand that, sister? No jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. So guess what? You still got to keep God's law. That's right. You still got. Now give me John 15 and 10. Here you go. No, no, read on, read on, read on. There's more. There's more in it. To all be fulfilled. Go ahead. For whosoever. Therefore, shall break one of these least commandments. No, no, no. Read that again. Read that part again for the system. Well, whosoever, sister, therefore, whosoever, sister, shall break one of these least commandments. You're breaking the least commandments of wearing pants. That's right. right. That's right. Which right. commandment read. is that? And shall teach men so. Which and you're teaching the that? sisters to wear pants. Which he shall be called. I'll tell you. Okay. The least in the kingdom of heaven. That means you're not going, sister. That's Right? But whosoever shall do. Shall what? Shall do. Shall what? Shall do. Sister, you're supposed to be doing the commandments. And teach them. And teach the commandments. No, you're not. The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Now That's go back. She's the sister said she want to know where the law is. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Bring it out. No. You're no. going to miss a sin, sister. What we're telling you to do is repent. Repent and don't do it no more. How do you know that I can read? Deuteronomy chapter 22. Yeah, I do. I can see it on Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Yeah, that? That's what does that mean? Commandment, right? What does that that's, mean? That's a commandment number one. That's, no, that's a commandment, period. Right. That's the least commandment that you're breaking. Okay. Sirach 15 and 20. Bring it out. So rock 15 and 20. Let's go a little further with this. So sister, you gotta repent. You're a Baptist. What? For you're real, you're a, man? See, look at that. No, that's crazy. Look, look at the spirit on it. Yo, that's crazy, son. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, you know what's crazy? I'm sitting you in the midst of sin. Women, oh, that's that's right. crazy. So you yeah, crazy. Chapter 15. Now, I change that, that spirit you no, got on no. you, sister. No, you got no. a man's spirit. No, that's right. You got a man's spirit. No, right. Get that damn yeah. spirit I have the off. spirit that Read. the Lord Verse 20. No, you got a Christian woman's spirit. That's what I trust. He has commanded no man. To That's do wickedness. Read it again. Read the loudest story. He has commanded no man to do wickedly. Read it again for the sister. Read it again for the manly sister. He, he has commanded no man to do wickedly. Hey, 
you but look at your face, sister. You look like a damn man. Bring it up. You're right. If, if you walk away in the back, I can't even tell if you're a woman or a man. Read. Neither have he. He has commanded. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So turn around and look at this brother right here. Is it okay for our strong men to look like this? Bring it out. Is that okay? Hell no. He's supposed to be a damn warrior. That's right. He's supposed to be a soldier. I mean, it's chaos. Read. It's chaos. He have commanded. You're going to die. That's, That's what we're out here to tell you. Get out of sin or die. Right. That's right. Read. He and guess what? You, you drug dealing niggas and all that. Y'all are, are, are like the soft, feminine. Y'all are just out of order. Bring it up. Y'all look like y'all are totally bugged the hell out. Right. That's why, that's why we're out here, brother. Read. He have hey, listen, commanded. Hey, listen, brother. We're not here, out here to coddle you, cuddle with you, snuggle. I'm harder than you. And we're not here out here to talk I'm harder than you. We're not out, out here to talk okay, soft. No, you know what's hard? You know what's hard? Keeping God's law. Yes, that's right. right. That's not, that's not what you're doing. Keep him read. He okay, we just read, we just read the law. We read the law. We read the law. We read you the law that you're not doing. Read. He have commanded. That's, that's hard. Like that's yours. hard, brother. You looking at that's hard. You looking Read. He now, have commanded order, no yeah. man to do wicked. Read it again. He have yeah. commanded no man to do wicked. One more time for the drug dealer Negro. He have commanded no man to do wicked. So you cannot remain in the midst of sin. Right. That's why you're at the bottom. Right. That's right. why you gotta sell drugs, because you can't get a damn job. That's right. right. You understand? Get a job. Read it again. He have commanded no man to do wickedly. Read on. Yeah, sir. Neither One has second. he given any man license to sin. Read that part again, brother. Neither has he given any man any man or woman license to sin. Get that? Now, give me give me 1 Corinthians 6 and 4. No, no, he I, he, I guess. What you got to say? Now, sir, not to not you know, you know, you know, okay. you know, you know, you know, very you been smoking today? Sir. You been smoking today? I just, I'm very well spoken. Every First Corinthians 6 and 14. Bring it out! out. Guys, First speak, Corinthians. speak, speak. For the guys who do drug deal, who do it righteously. Oh. Right? To the best of their. Wow. Of so they they, they, they they sell drugs to the, Jeremiah 422. Bring it out! out. The says, the, the, the Negroes out here, back up, brother, back up, back up. The Negroes out here can sell drugs righteously. This is the state of, I don't, no, no, back up, brother, back up. This is the state of the black man in America. How in the hell do you destroy your people righteously? You black men are bugged out of your damn mind. Right. It's disgusting. That's right. Read on. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. You know any nationality, brother? No, you don't know? You, do you want to know? See? State of the black man, they don't, they don't want to know a damn thing. Right. But if I was to ask him, hey, how many how many uh, 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 ounces in a, in a quart for, for a cook this crap? He would have been all ears. Right. Read. For my people. Yeah, he would have been a damn chemist. He's a chemist when it comes to cooking crack. But he don't want to know his nationality. He don't want to know his laws. He don't want to know how to get off the bottom of society. Right. None of that golf, none of that, right? But he want to know how to cook that crap. Read. Is Foolish. Read it from the top, man. For my people is foolish. Read it again for the Negroes in America. For my people is foolish. Read it again for the Negroes on Alabama Broad Street. For my people is foolish. You are a foolish people. Foolish. That's what the Bible is calling you. Bro, how simple are you, man? Read it again. For my people is foolish. You is foolish. They call they call it the, the spot the trap. Hello, it's a trap. You're going to jail, Negro. That's right. What is so hard to understand about that? You think you're gonna outsmart the cops forever? Read. They have not known me. You don't know God, you know the white man. You right. know white man Jesus. Right. You know selling drugs. You know sleeping with all the sisters. That's what you know. You know what club is popping tonight. Gang bang. You know gang banging. That's what you know. Read. They are Sadi's children. Read it again. They are Sadi's children. That means you're in a stupor. You're dumb. That's what, that's what God is calling you. You're a bunch of dummies, man. That's what the Bible says. Like I said, we ain't out to talk sore. Too damn bad. Right. That's what the Bible says. Read. They are wise 
to do evil. Read that part again, brother. They are wise to do evil. One more time. They are wise to do evil. The Bible says you blacks and Hispanics like, are wise, like, uh, right. but you're wise to do evil. You understand that, sister? You understand what the Bible says? The Bible says you're wise to do evil. Right. You do evil. Evil, evil. How the hell are you going to sell, sell drugs righteously? That's what the brother said. You can't sell drugs righteously. Do y'all know your nationality? Sisters, we're out here teaching our nationality. All right? So, on this side is who we are as a people. Right? We're called African American, West Indian, Haitian, Jamaican, and so forth, right? But here is our biblical name. You understand? So, what do they call us on a census? What do you fill out? You say you're African American, uh, uh, black, what? Are you a so called African American? So, I'm going to make a statement to you. You're from the tribe of Jews. That's right. You're from the same lineage as Jesus the Christ. That's right. You understand that? You go to church? Now, when you go to church, do you ask the pastor to prove anything that he says? I can't hear you. Yeah, but I'm saying the pastor, he's giving you his words, right? They're supposed to be biblical. Right. So, you're supposed to be able to go in the Bible and see where the pastor got what he's saying from. Do you do that? You do. So your pastor's the truth. That's what you're saying. He's not the truth. Okay, Leviticus 13 and 13. Bring it out. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 30. Okay, yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's sister, listen to this. Both of you. The priest shall see the plague. And behold, if it be in the sight deeper than the skin. Wait a second, sis, 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 read it one more time. Then the priest shall see the plague. Is a plague a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, it's a bad thing, right? Read it again. Then the priest shall see the plague. So we're talking about something evil. And behold, if it be in sight. Deeper than the skin. Go ahead. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. A what? A yellow thin hair. What kind of plague is this? A yellow thin hair. Now, we're talking about yellow thin hair. That's blonde hair, correct? So we're talking about blonde hair. Read it from the top. Then the priest shall see the plague. And that's a bad thing, the Bible says. A plague. And behold, if it be in sight, Deeper than the skin, uh -huh. and there be in it a yellow thin hair. Uh -huh. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. Him or her what? Pronounce him unclean. You understand that, sis? So with blonde hair in your head, that's unclean. That's what the Bible says. You understand that? So let me ask you a question. Can you naturally grow that on your hair? So why did you do, why did you do that to your hair? That's not right. Now, wait, who put that in your mind that, that that's what you should like? No, 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 no. You got that thought from some. You got that thought from America. That's, that's right. right. That's where you got that thought from. Because wait, wait, one second, sis. One second, sis. Why does? Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let you speak, sis. Why does not the white woman go to the salon and spend billions and put Afro hair on top of their head? That's right. But you sisters go and spend billions in the in the hair salons and you know, put white people's hair on top of your head. That's right. Why? 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 Why did y'all do that? We're not a religion. God's right. laws. That's right. What? God's laws. Yes. So why do you do that? Why do our sisters do that? Jeremiah two thirty three. So guess what? Instead of looking the part as a beautiful black natural woman, our sisters go and put the white woman's hair on top of their head. Bring it up. And they think they're normal. You go to church, sister. You go to church. Your pastor's supposed to be telling you these things. That's right. That's what your pastor's supposed to be telling you. Get you out of sin. You understand? Read. Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse Listen to this. 33. Oh, now, see, God's laws come up. It's time to go. It's time to go. They don't want to hear about God's laws, but they sit in church for hours. Right. Listen to that pastor bring bring out garbage. You understand that? Read. Why trimethes thou thy way to seek love? Therefore, okay. therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy way. Read 
Read it again. Why trimmest thou thy way? So the Bible says, why do you trim your way? Why do you wear that white woman's hair on top of your head? Why do you do that thing to look like the so-called white woman? You gotta look like your oppressor. Why do you keep looking like your damn oppressor? A lot of you got the same hair on your head as Darren Wilson. That's right. That's what you got on your head. Right. It don't make no damn sense. You got your oppressors here on top of your head. Then you're gonna be like, no justice, no peace, with a big ass blonde ass weave on your head. It don't make no damn sense. That's right. Read it again. Why dreamest thou thy way to seek love? You are seeking love in all the wrong places. Remember that song? You seeking love in all the wrong places, black man. You're supposed to seek love from your people, not the so called white man or woman. To hell with them. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.